be showing you uh, a few of my redstone contraptions that I've built over the years. Uh, these are only a few of them. I've built a lot more than these. So let's get right into it. The first thing that I'd like to show you is this. The darts floor. Hi, Parrot. Right. There we go. And that's a nice thing. You get this. You have chirp. You have... You have, uh, you have pig step together. Yeah, it's a pretty good song. And before you say anything, pigs don't dance to pig step. No, they don't like it at all. Uh, I'm just gonna turn them all off if I can find it. There we go. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is a dance floor where you can dance. Wow, there are, there are a lot of parrots. Yeah, so this is a dance floor where you dance or make parrots dance. Definitely not pigs dance. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. You can make a lot of designs. For example, you could do something like this, which isn't that really good, but it's really good, kind of. And then you can do design. You can, you can literally play around with everything and you can just figure it out. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to take a redstone clock. You just need some observers lined up all the way in the same direction. You get observers going up, facing up, and then you just take your redstone down to take them all over here. It's really simple. So you can make that easily, simply. My next, my next one is this on-off toggle nether portal. This one is obviously a lot bigger than, every, and than any tutorial that you've seen because this is my own version. So what this do is doing is that like it's taking the off button is that it's really is taking this all the way over there and you do some redstone action. The on is just, yeah, there's that, off. Yeah, it's not really that effective, but it does work. So for the on thing, you just take a repeater out from there uh, for the button and then just just something to steal inside and for the off is a little bit more uh, let's just say weird so take it you take a redstone um, output from that block you go it goes into the sticky piston with the observer when two observers are go to each other they take they make a really fast redstone clock which goes all the way over here and up into the dispenser which has the water bucket inside it's pretty simple kind of my next one is this my storage system this is a lot complicated i'm not going to show you how to make this but i'm going to tell you a brief overview overview of how this will work so you see we have this chest system that goes into this dropper then we have a salt and bubble elevator that goes up into here yeah, then we just have a comparator output which goes into this redstone clock over here and it just goes into this so that it just keeps on firing itself whenever it finds anything inside. For example, if I just take a piece of redstone, you see it just fires it out. Which then goes up into this hopper, which goes into this, this, into this dropper, which goes all the way up and it goes through all of these hoppers. All of these hoppers, we have a specific item in each of them. We have ladders, so it has all the way ladders in here. Uh, you can make five different items in each one. So you get things like this, or any ladders, let's just say you want chirp, pigster, pigster, whatever you want into each one. So you can just put one in each, and then you take one in each for, for almost everything. And then you do the same design that you've put over here into all of these other droppers to make them go up and down, up and down, up and down. It's just a water thing that runs through everything. It goes over the hoppers, and then you get one of these. This goes all the way around, and then you get a jump system that everything, all the junk items that end up in here. Uh, and then my next one is this. This is a um, bubble elevator. You see it's magma, it's going to go down. You see it's switching everything. It's doing that. We can go up. There we go. I'm not pressing any buttons. And then once you flip this lever, you just have to wait like a few seconds. But then you're slowly gonna go down. 
might want to go. You can, you can come back, you can come back in, but you might want to crouch if you're in survival mode so they don't take any damage whatsoever. And then you get this kind of system. How this works is that it just takes this lamp, uh, it just goes into this uh, observer, and I'll show you what happens right here. So this, what this observer does, is that it takes um, this redstone output into here. So this is a four tick, and then what it's going to do from here. That it takes it into here which comes out so it just takes both of these at the same time and it might have an underground redstone that take into there but i can't really see yeah so these but this redstone powers this and it still goes all the way around the four, and then we have four tick delay which goes into this piston which pushes it pushes it over here and this takes another two tick delay and uh, it takes up into there which is another few seconds of delay and before any of that even happens, it comes over here as soon as that, that comes down to here. And it pushes this up, then it just, comes, it just goes in a circle. Even seriously, even I don't know how this is working, how I got this connected, but I did somehow. Yeah. And another one of my redstone creations is well you see this was a failure of me trying to do with a cobblestone generator yeah it's not really good another one of these which is also one of my favorites is this uh is this wall yeah and you press a button in the right place you get some hidden stairs and then as soon as you press this button, uh, the button down there will disappear. And then, um, well, this disappears after a certain amount of time. As I've placed in a redstone clock over here. Yeah, with a certain amount of items inside one of these. Uh, so if you want to copy this, you can. So you see, if you have a button in the correct place in the correct place and so let's just see so we have this so we have a repeater which goes into this redstone which goes which powers this thing off which turns this um hopper off and then this also comes into here which turns this off as well and then as soon as that comes in it just takes into a redstone signal goes all the way up here and then as soon as that redstone signal turns off it's going to come all the way down there yeah, it's a pretty fast explanation, but that's like the best brief, brief explanation that I could do. And up here we have the button. We have a trail of observers that go all the way down uh, into here, there, and the observers they detect what's happening. So if one of these, um, if that goes off and this detects that this, that it observes something, it just that trail just goes on uh, until it powers until it comes up to here which really is the simplest thing over here it just comes into here takes a block pushes this cross block up and down using a sticky piston and which removes the button you, you can also be using this with redstone but i've just used observers yeah so as soon as you press that button you'll see it will take it will take a while for the press it for the signal to go all the way through and then it just pushes up twice as the button goes up and down yeah, yeah so that it, it's a pretty simple build and now we have this this is one of my work in progress we have this simple three by three piston door which isn't really a three by three as it barely even goes off by one block you can't even get in by one block really yeah so you flip the lever you get something like this yeah you get something like this walk through but i'm still in the progress of making it yeah so you just turn that off it just goes on and off and on and off and on and off it's kind of like a jigsaw piece how this works is i just take the redstone line out of this repeater goes into this repeater which takes a redstone line all the way out to the back which comes out and it goes off into two directions one direction is to this piston and another direction is to this piston 
We just take up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down like this. The next one is this. Yes, this. This is a minute to minute timer. Yeah, so it ties, so it's like a timer that goes for one minute. So, the way that you need to power this is that you just need a piece of redstone. So I can find it in this junk. Yeah, whatever, whatever, never mind about that. We're just gonna use a piece of redstone from here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. Where was it? There, there we go. Yeah, so what this does is it has a redstone clock that has a certain amount of delay, as you can see over here. Like this, it just goes round and round and round and round. And then we have a four tick that goes into this. Uh, yeah, this dispenser. So if we to turn this off, we're gonna replace all of this, and we've gotta and we've gotta fill this dispenser up with how many seconds you want. Obviously, all of this is gonna be about um, about three or four seconds more or less. But I've just taken this. 60 glass and as soon as you flick this lever you see that happens this will turn this will um, stay on as soon as the timer is finished and the both will start blinking just like just say that the timer is still on yeah this might be a tiny bit faster or slower it really does depend of course I'm not, not gonna stay here watching this go on and off all day so we'll, we'll we go on to the next build which is going to be one of my favorites and yours this simple TNT cannon and before we go on to that let me explain how this works what this is doing so this fire the dispenser goes into this hopper and the hopper it goes and it just uh, finds uh, gives off a single signal goes down into there and goes into the chest which gives out all of the items. Yeah and that's all and that's why it's giving off that sound. It's pretty simple. And to make that turn off we have a redstone torch which goes all the way down. We have a repeat here and then we have a repeat that goes up all the way into there. Yeah it's pretty simple. And then now we move on to the TNT again. It's literally super simple. It's literally all up here. We have to have a button, which has all of this over here, so I'll show you. So you need TNT to fill up as long as you want, until the water runs really. You can fill this up, and then all you've only got to do is you've got to place a piece of TNT on that ladder. And you've got to get a red sun that goes all the way into um, the second last one, and this one goes all the way. And then you get uh, four repeaters with full tick. And you go here with four repeaters with also four tips. And then which is just gonna give out that perfect amount of delay for it to shoot. Yeah, because I have way too much TNT. If you just place one or two pieces of TNT, it should work fine. Let me show you what happens when you place one piece of TNT. <laughs> Convenient. Now let's see what happens if I place two pieces of TNT. Whoops. That's gonna go pretty far. I'm guessing. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's like a perfect amount of time. Yeah, so you guys go as far as long as you want. I obviously have way more contraptions than this, but that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe well this news to some pig step and hope you enjoyed bye bye